We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Hello, hello, hello to you, my dear friend. Welcome to another video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry Studios. It's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here, and I am so happy to be with you. God is good. God is gracious. God is with us. And God's strength sustains us. My dear friend, it is so important that we pray, that we pray all the time and we do not quench the fire. It is so important that we continue praying. Sadly, in this time, many people have been struggling to pray. They've been battling with prayer lethargy. They've been battling to pray. They try to pray. They have the conviction to pray. And when they sit down to pray, they find it very difficult. And if you are in that position, then you are in the right place today. I want to pray for you for complete deliverance from every evil spirit that hinders prayer, that hinders your ability to press in, to speak to the Father, to spend time with God, that causes distractions so that your prayer time is disturbed, that makes it difficult for you to press in. And I trust, know and believe God is going to deliver you and restore your prayer life. So in saying that, let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit. Wherever you are, lift up your hands as a sign of surrender and say this out loud with me. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Precious Holy Spirit, come and touch me today. Help me to pray. Help me to pray all the time and not to quench the fire. Help me to pray all the time and to be able to press in. Reveal Jesus to me. I want to know him more and more. Speak to me. Show me the way. Give me revelation of the word. Fill my mouth with words and direction concerning what I should pray for and when I should pray. Help me to hear the instruction of the Father. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, my dear friend, it is so important that you pray. And prayer is so important. For us as born-again believers, prayer is like breathing. It is something that should not be neglected. Prayer is so important. A Christian who doesn't pray can be likened to a fish that's been taken out of water. A fish needs water to survive. In the same way, a born-again believer needs prayer and commune with God in order to survive spiritually and grow strong. It is so important that you pray. Many times the Lord speaks to us and convicts us, saying this is the way you must go, saying you must pray you must seek Him. But we get distracted with many things. And it will take something on our side. That something is the willingness to lay aside everything else and to seek God. But sometimes there is a battle that we face once we lay everything aside. And that battle is to actually pray. You may find you are just sitting alone in your room and you are not doing anything. You are struggling to get into a mode of prayer and to actually begin. Sometimes you might find that as you want to pray, you suddenly become sleepy. You may also find that as you want to pray, your phone that has been silent the whole day suddenly starts to ring over and over. People who weren't speaking to you suddenly want to talk to you. You may find that in that time when you have decided to pray, all of a sudden, people are now looking for you to do certain things. But the choice comes down to you. To say, no, this is prayer time. I will pray. I will seek God. I will press in 
and touched the hem of his garment. Now, when we pray, it is so important that we recognize and realize who God is and we approach him with the necessary reverence and awe. We must seek to build our relationship with him and get closer to him. See him as your heavenly father. And as you pray and you speak to him, speak with the same awe and respect and even more respect that you would give to an elder Give that respect and honor to God. We live in a day and age where people are battling with these things. With respect, with honoring elders, with honoring one another. We live in a time when we see young people disrespecting the elders. And we as born again believers should never fall into that boat. We should not be like that, but we should be the difference. We can stand up and be the difference, even through our actions. And when we pray, we must reflect that difference when we're speaking to God. Speak to Him as your Heavenly Father, with all honor and respect, and with the fear of God present in your heart. And know that God is willing to bless you, Know that God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. And know that as you seek God, God will reward you with good things. Now in saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. I discern the presence of God. Let us begin by thanking and praising God. And then I'll begin to pray for you as the Holy Spirit leads me. Father, thank you. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you that you don't leave us helpless, you don't leave us alone. Your grace is sufficient for us, even today. As we pray and as we seek you, you hear us and you answer our prayers. As we press in and seek you, you reward us with good things. You are our God. You are our refuge. You are our fortress. You are our very present help in time of need. We lift up your name. Be glorified, be magnified, be lifted high. Be lifted high in our lives. And even as you do what only you can do in our lives, receive all the praise, receive all the honor, receive all the glory. We thank you that you don't leave us helpless. You don't leave my dear friend who's watching this video helpless. You fight for us. You deliver us. You intervene divinely. And even right now, you are bringing divine intervention in my dear friend's life. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for the cross. Thank you, Lord, for thinking of us before we thought of you. And even today, as we pray, release the grace to pray. Release the grace of my dear friend to seek you all the time, to speak to you, and to be part of a generation that truly prays, that makes a difference through prayer. I ask this in Jesus' name, and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen. Now we're going to begin to pray. As I begin to pray for you, I want to encourage you, connect in faith. Be in agreement, comment and agree, and connect in faith. And God will bless you. But in saying that, let us begin. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Even right now, I pray that you will release the grace over my dear friend to pray and to seek you with faith that is not easily extinguished, but faith that chooses to believe you no matter what. Give my dear friend the grace to pray until something happens. Wherever there is any blockage, Wherever there's any barrier, wherever there's any evil spirit that is causing my dear friend not to pray, deliver my dear friend right now. Set my dear friend free, Father. Release the power in the name of Jesus. 
to go forward and bring freedom in the life of my dear friend who has tuned in today. I ask this in Jesus' name, and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen and amen. My dear friend, you are blessed. God is with you. Repeat this after me. Say, I can pray, and I will pray. I will press in. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And God is with me. His anointing is on me. The Holy Spirit of God is in me. My body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And therefore, I shall pray and I shall pray well. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you, my dear friend. Thank you for tuning in. From myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, God bless you and goodbye. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.